Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of my Cliff View project. Okay, so uh, last time around, what was I doing? Oh, I have dead people. That's always good. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I need a cemetery. This would be important. I'm going to stick it over here. Like so. Okay, so that should sort out the dead people thing. Now, here's the fun thing. You can actually watch the... Del... This is too hard to actually tag. There we go. So you can actually watch the... Uh, service vehicles go around and do their thing. See, there we go. There's the coffin coming out. And it stopped following it for some reason. There we go. So you can see it, uh, they do their thing and collect the, the dead. Uh, you can follow pretty much anything in the in the city. Now, what I've been doing here, I, I just fin I finished building an interchange over here, which looks kind of funky. And I completed this interchange properly. I left this stupid U-turn thing in. I don't know what it's there for, but uh, it's there. Um, it was part of the map. Um, no doubt it's there for a reason. Uh, so, I've got industrial demand, but I don't really want to uh, create a huge pile of industry all at once. Um, you don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I'm having an educated worker shortage. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the education status here. And, yeah, I do have a 40%, uh, um, uneducated rate. It would be nice if it would say why, um, buildings were, uh, abandoned. You know, that would be extremely helpful. But it doesn't, so there you go. Uh... Okay, so apparently I'm short on education over here. Well, that might help some. Uh, right, okay. Now... And while I'm at it, I'm gonna I'm gonna get me square on here so I can see what's doing. There we go. I'll cover off this area. As the key here is I need to get uh, services in for the industry to level up. Uh, so what services am I missing over here? Well, I could probably help things out a bit with some sort of a healthcare offering. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll put it over here. 
strangely enough, industry seems to like healthcare. Um, it, uh, I suppose, a, a case could be made for that. Um, I also need some healthcare elsewhere, so I'm going to install some. So that should improve my citizen's health. And you can see the six citizen's count has gone down already. And it looks like I have a power shortage. So let's see. I do indeed have a power shortage. Now I can build the advanced windmills which can go out in the water. Uh, and generate more than uh, seven or eight megawatts which is useful okay so another 30 some megawatts uh, ought to be enough to keep the demand in in check here how's this doing uh, 60 percent okay garbage is okay for now um, Okay, so I'm going to look at the fire coverage. I can't build anything here, but uh, okay, that tells me something about that. Um, I'm going to ignore public transit for the moment because, um, well, uh, it's um, expensive and tedious, but I will put some parks in here. These uh, Japanese garden parks are quite nice. They're uh, only 4x4, four four, so you can slot them in pretty much anywhere. Uh, which is really nice. Um, they, can, they help the land value quite a bit, and they look quite nice, really. Um, if we zoom in and take a look at one here, uh, they look really quite nice. Um, you know, with their trees and, and everything, and, uh, you know, generally, I quite like them. Um, they were supposed to be a limited freebie. Uh, as a result of uh, some sort of um, uh, as a uh, some sort of a enticement to sign up for something I can't remember what now I did sign up for that thing but I never got the uh, thing turns out there was some sort of a problem with um, assets and stuff and uh, creating the, you know, a, a recent patch to the game uh, basically gave the uh, Japanese garden to everyone. And, you know, I'm okay with that. Because anybody could have signed up for this thing that it was originally for a reward for anyway. So, why not? Now, this will raise the... Uh, land values. I'm going to speed the simulation up here so that uh, things can uh, tick along a little faster here. These are well worth building because they do um, improve the uh, area quite a bit. Um, 
guess I need one more in here. Uh, put it here. And I think I need one more in here. There we go. And I'll put one more right about here. Okay. So that's quite a lot of uh, of park uh, construction here, but it will be uh, worth it in the long run. Now we can take a look here. Um, yeah, it's not um, not leveling up particularly fast, but. Uh, But that is what you want. Uh, you want your industry to level up like that so that uh, it starts demanding the educated jobs. It also pollutes less and that sort of thing. I'm letting the simulation run a bit here so that I can uh, build up some cash. I just don't like taking loans so I generally don't but you know like I have demand for um, commercial and industrial but uh, let's take a look at the demographics I've got 2800 jobs so yeah I'm pretty close so I probably do need to uh, what's this here not enough buyers so yeah I definitely need to uh, expand the residential. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that over here. Uh, there's a block. There's a block. I did watch some tutorials today that had some uh, really good um, suggestions and uh, examples on how to um, uh, do some interesting uh, road layouts. Uh, they were all based on uh, actual uh, uh, geometry. Um, like real geometric uh, uh, an analysis of the problem. Um, getting perfect 45 degrees on uh, roads uh, compared to two existing right angled roads since we have a protractor where we essentially where we can get 90 degrees since we can make 90 degree um, corners accurate 90 degree corners uh, and we can get accurate lengths on these based on these grid lines uh, that actually means we can uh, generate quite a few very precise angles. Uh, which is quite uh, quite useful. If, uh, you can get uh, 30, 45, 60, and uh, a few others just with uh, geometric construction. Uh, and uh, you know this hadn't occurred to me, but the uh, ability is clearly there. Um, which is quite a uh, quite a, a useful thing to uh, to observe. more blocks I can squeeze in here okay so that's my whole road network in that area uh, I am going to uh, do a Uh, 
Uh, actually, it's a bit early for the... No. Okay, if I bend there... I can get the approximate angle I want, and if I demolish that... Now, I can get... the rest of the angle I want. Okay. Uh, the reason I put that bridge in there is so that the uh, residential people can get over to the uh, industrial area for their jobs. Now, whoops, wrong one. I need to add some plumbing here. Okay, so... This should be easy enough. Uh, over here. And I'm going to need to come across here. Just for completeness. Whoops. And I have to go this way too. And also with this one. That little hook will cover the rest of it. Okay. Now, um, what I should do is add some parks, but it's a little premature for that. So I'll add some residential over here. Okay, now I'm going to add some commercial right along the edge here. Now that commercial bit will be fed from here. And I can also, okay, so I've got to turn around here, I believe. I'm not sure which way that one goes. Well, oh, it's got to exit here, so I've got to turn around there. So I actually can go ahead and make a ramp here. Okay, if I turn that off, then I can... And I can also go ahead and link up here. And I can also, I believe, That's not how I wanted that to go. Well, that almost worked. There we go. I can send a ramp that way. Um, so I can get in with a U-turn. I can get out in either direction. Okay. Okay, I think that's how I want to do that. I may come back and revisit that later, but for now it works. Uh, okay, so... Now let's take a look over here. Still not enough buyers. Now, I wonder if that's a transportation problem. What's this? Not enough educated workers. Um, I'm going to speed this up. Let the uh, simulation run for a bit here.
Uh, now let's take a look at the demographics here. Unemployment's down to 6%. Uh, how's education doing? It's not really improving. Oh, I've made it to busy town. Um, okay, that gets me the rest of the roads, so so that's cool. I can get the larger hospitals and so on. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I don't have the university yet, but uh, high school coverage is pretty good, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, how's uh, elementary coverage? I'm going to need one of those over here. Okay. Um, no. I put that in the wrong place. No, I put that in the right place. Okay. Uh, I need also in here... Um, I need cash to build these things, but... Uh, I need a fireplace there. Okay, I'm going to speed things up here. And I'm going to zone a bunch of this in. Okay, so now we'll see what happens here. Now while I let this run for a bit, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I'm actually doing these recordings. For the audio, for, for my talking, since I absolutely despise using headsets and the one I have is absolutely dreadful, it has terrible pickup characteristics, I have a desk microphone, a um, Yeti, um, what is it? Uh, a, a Yeti Blue. Uh, it's a USB one, plugs right in the USB. It has various pickup modes, including a cardioid pickup mode, which allows it to reject most of the sound coming from behind the microphone. So that allows me to put it between me and my tower, which means that it rejects most of the fan noise, which is quite good to uh, do. Uh, but it does tend to pick up background noise quite well. Uh, I see I might I have a water shortage developing here, so I need to suck up some more water from somewhere. Um, well, I'll go ahead and uh, suck up some water here. Okay, hey, that sorts out the water situation. And I need a drain pipe. Well, if I do that, uh, that'll get me my uh, required services. Okay, so I have the Yeti microphone and that works quite well. Um, I just direct the uh, um, pickup, uh, you know, the uh, sound recorder's um, uh, audio to the microphone and I'm good. Now, I'm playing on Linux so there isn't a lot of really nice, easy to use screen capture software that actually records OpenGL. Um, and the game uses OpenGL, so you need something that can actually pick up the OpenGL uh, output. Uh, regular screen recorder software just tends to get a black screen. I'm going to build a landfill here while I uh, continue here. I'm going to put it way over here. Um, Okay, so the um, 
so the, the problem I had was how do I get it to record? Like the, the bit in Steam for broadcasting and so on isn't supported on Linux, or at least it didn't seem to be. So I, I was kind of stuck there. But then I looked around. I found some software called Simple Screen Recorder, which works quite well for regular uh, non-OpenGL applications. It picks things up nicely and, and all of that. Um, but the question was, how do I deal with an OpenGL app? Well, it turns out that uh, it has an, the ability to inject into the uh, OpenGL app a shim library that allows it to intercept frames. So doing that allows me to um, record the OpenGL. It turns out that doing that was a little bit um, um, problematic with a Steam app, but eventually I figured out how to do it. Now, so I've got that working. Uh, it does have some nice characteristics where I can switch away from the program and it still records what the program's outputting. It only records the window. Uh, and and that's, that's cool. Uh, so I can overlay stuff on it. It doesn't actually interfere with what you see. Um, but, you know, it does have some issues. I, um, controlling it uh, in full screen mode when apps really don't want to relinquish full screen, like uh, this particular game, City Skylines, can be a little bit problematic. On the flip side, it, it outputs in a fairly standard uh, format, so uh, it's easy to process afterward. So those two combined allow me to record my uh, City Skylines uh, games here. Now I see over here I've got not enough workers. And I've got a heavy demand for residential going on here so it's clear that uh, I uh, have some need of, of it. Now, how's education doing? 54% um, uneducated now. Um, so that's going to be problematic. Um, okay. Well, uh, anyway, uh, education takes a while to uh, occur, obviously. No, oh, I need to put the grid snapping back on for this to work. Oh yes, and I need the right kind of road. Uh, that makes all the difference too. Okay. Dope. Landfills in the way. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, and I can bring this across. Uh, yeah, that lines up, okay. Uh, can I get a whole block in here? Uh, not without a bridge, okay. I'll just run a road around the uh, beach here to get into this area. Okay, so I'll uh, bring my water into, into here. Uh, like so. And like so. And like so. And I need another one of these hooky things. Now, 
uh, I've said it in other parts, you really don't need to run your pipes along your streets. I only do that because I'm sort of OCD about that. It's just my thing. So yeah, you don't need to do it that way. It works perfectly fine if you don't. I just think it's right that the city services should all be on city, city land. I'm sure these people aren't going to like so much living by the uh, garbage dump. Uh, I know I wouldn't, but uh, there are some. Uh, there is some limitation on what land is is available, so I'm going to fill it all in here. This should give me the uh, maximum residential coverage for this whole area here. At least until I get high density zones. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with high density here. Okay. Okay, so uh, my city's ticking along here. I've got some massive, uh, well, not massive, but growing abandonment issues over here. Well, that's starting to look massive when I zoom in on it. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, well, this is probably why it's the uh, lack of educated workers, so I really need to get my education levels up. Let's take a look in here in the budget. Education. Well, I don't know if that's the... Okay, let's look in policies. Well, I don't have the education boost policy yet. I'm going to put the parks and rec policy in, though. That's hardly going to make things worse. Um, that could uh, easily uh, uh, negatively impact my budget, but apparently it's not. And I'm going to give away free smoke detectors because, well, I think that's a good idea. Uh, while I'm at things, I'm going to check my power. And I'm on the edge, so I need to do something about that. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, more turbines. Okay, so that should be good for now. I am going to um, create a interchange over on this side too, uh, just to see if if I can improve the uh, situation here. So. Turn off the uh, grid thing. Okay, so we'll be able to go that way. Well, that's clearly not going to work. No, that's not going to work. Okay, 
I'm going to need to build my uh, ramp first. be able to come off of here and link up like that. Okay, good. Now, I will also need to come off of here in the way. I'm going to move it. Okay. Oh, well that's going the wrong direction. I should fix that. And there's one of the things that annoys me to no end. The road's there, but I can't change the direction of it. So I have to actually remove it. Why? It worked the other way, but the slope's too steep this time. Okay, fine. I'll do it that way. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go that way. Okay, I prefer not to, but... Uh, well, I wonder... Can I... That just looks dumb. Okay. Dope. I didn't want to delete that. Uh, I should... Uh... What the... Really? I can't link it up? Fine.
See, this is one of the things that really irks me about the game. Uh, you've got a road that was just fine, and now you can't do it anymore. Um, okay, so I'll turn off the collision here and <laughs> rebuild it. Uh, and... Okay, so if I upgrade it to this type, and then I upgrade it back. Okay, so that sorts that out. Uh, now. Okay, build that, and I'll turn that back on so I don't forget. Now, uh, oops, now, okay, so that sorts that out. Now I have a complete uh, intersection here. Now, just out of curiosity, that is low clearance. may need to keep an eye on that one. Okay. Uh, I might want to uh, rebuild this once I buy the neighboring tile. Uh, I'm not sure which tile I want to go to, which is why I haven't purchased one. Because I, ha I have them available. Uh, of course, the logical development area to go to is over and still in this tile, so actually that piece of land there might be worth having that tile. Okay, uh, I'm not sure where I want to go from there though. Okay, so I'm going to speed the uh, game up here. I don't seem to have a significant traffic problem, but uh, uh, I seem to have solved my uh, Zot problem over here too, uh, which is kind of good. Uh, how's my education level doing? Yeah, iffy. Well, I guess, well, not as bad as it could be. Anyway, uh, so I have a massive residential area here. Uh, now, uh, do I have the highways with sound walls, so I'm going to employ them here. You can't elevate sound walls, so okay. So far, so good. Uh, I need the next level for incinerators, okay.
what am I going to do here for the... for development over here? How am I going to build access into it? That is the question. I need some sort of ramp setup, kind of like this. So I need to get clever here. So I need a ramp over at this end. So I wonder if this would be a good point for a roundabout. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, anyway. I'm going to see what I can do ramps wise here. Uh, okay, so I'll need something coming out here. Uh, I probably hit a. Actually, I can take a ramp off here. Okay. And I can take a ramp off here. Okay. Uh, so that gets from that way in, and it gets from there across. I can use that uh, left turn there for that access as well and come along like this. If it gets too congested, I can loop a ramp around. Okay. Now I need an outbound, which can go like so. And I need to go up and over. That's potentially problematic. What can I do here? Okay. Okay, I can't quite go down yet. Okay, that'll work. Take one off there. <sighs> That's just in the way. So I'll move it. Okay. Huh. 
more of these things are in the way. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So that gets me straight across. Okay, well, no, I can't. That's not going to um, work so well. Uh, okay. going into there and a one-way road coming out of here um, okay now I should be able to make that connect where I want it to right there okay uh, I was building a one-way road here. Nope. Okay. There we go. There's my access in on that side. Uh... That is a demented interchange. Totally demented. I wonder if I can feed a ramp across here. Oh, I can. I can feed a ramp across there. It means I don't actually need this one. Uh, and I can come off further back here. Can I? Can I actually link up this way? No. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, I'll have to live with that setup. There's way too many ramps coming together there, but I'll live with it. Okay. Just to uh, recap, we can get across straight through like this. We can get across straight through like this. We can go from here to the right, or here to the left. We can go from here to the right, or here to the left. We can go from here to the right, or here to the left. And we can go from here to the right, or here to the left. Uh, probably, I should have one more flyover ramp for the left turn here. Uh, I'm going to do that. have a space issue here. Let 
Why is it insisting on bending like that? get this to come through here. I can come out over the water. Okay, there we go. There we go, there's my exit. this uh, there we go okay now I need my other direction just bring it off here like so okay okay so I'm good with that now that is a spaghetti mess if ever I saw one okay now I can take my one-way roads over here um, let's build it straight here up to there and whoops whoops wrong there we go uh, okay That's what I want to do. There we go. Okay.
Okay. Okay, so... Good. Okay, now... I'm going to... Build a major, a, a big road there. Uh, let's uh, connect it. There we go. Looks a bit off, but there is no transition, and that's what we really need there. Now, uh, from here, I'm going to turn off the grid snapping. Ooh, I made it to Big Town. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to build some roads here. And then I'm going to end the part. Okay, and I'll bring a road across like so. Okay, so that's the uh, roads over there that I'm going to work with. I'm not going to zone it this time around. Um, this road is going to come around like this, and I think I'll end up doing the same type of spaghetti mess over here. Good. Uh, so I'm going to save the game. Cliff View Project. Save. Uh, okay, so that's the end of part two of the Cliff View Project. I'll see everyone back for part three. Thanks for watching.